friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here today to talk about baby formula as in store-bought formula versus goat milk and to share a little testimony with you. Obviously, when we're talking about babies, the very best milk they could ever have is going to be mom's own milk. That is what they were created to have. Mom's milk has everything that baby needs for the first several months of their life, and they don't need anything else. So clearly that's got to be the first thing a person turns to when they have a baby, is they should always be looking at nursing them themselves if they can. However, there are various situations that can come up that can make it so that a woman is simply unable to nurse. And unfortunately, my daughter-in-law was one of those. And so that's why I get a little upset when people, you know, when we had this whole formula shortage and people are freaking out, not knowing what to do, and other people were being kind of rude to them and saying, well, there's always human milk, that's what they're meant to be drink. Well, yeah, that's true, but people don't understand the situations that some people may be in. And I wanna say my daughter-in-law did everything she ate all the right foods. She, they did all the right things. They saw a lactation specialist at least a few times a week. And she was helping her and talking her through all of this and walking her through everything. And still, she was only just producing a very tiny amount of milk. And poor Jace was just not gaining the weight. In fact, was losing weight. He was already skinny when he was born, which was not a surprise. That's the way Justin was when he was born but he just kept getting skinnier and he was hungry all the time and she would nurse him for an hour and he still wouldn't get enough to eat. And so I just said, here, I've got some Myrenberg goat milk. I know goat milk is the next best thing to human milk and I gave it to her. I had a whole bunch of it stored up. And so she started using it and immediately he started putting on weight like he was supposed to. And the thing that really irritated me was her doctor got really concerned about that. I don't recommend goat milk. You should be giving that baby human formula. Which to me, I just, I, I shake my head every time I hear that. The only human formula out there is the one that comes from the mom. And there's absolutely nothing human about store-bought formula. It's either made with a soy product, which is huge no-no, or it's made from cow's milk. So, and cow's milk isn't as good for our babies as goat's milk is. Though there are ways that you can use cow milk and it can be processed in a way to make it digestible to the baby. Goat's milk really is the best when it comes to that. And it's been a tried and true milk forever. I mean, probably since people were having babies. It's what they fell back on when some kind of conditions made it so that a mom could not nurse or they relied on someone else to nurse their baby for them. And so I got online and was looking stuff up just because her doctor was so concerned. And it just kind of surprised me how many sites I would come to. And these were all US-based medical sites that, well, goat milk is not safe for babies. So that's just absolutely not true. And yet my daughter-in-law's uh, lactation specialist thought it was a great idea that she was supplementing with the goat milk. And she did recommend maybe adding vitamins, but they're probably not necessary and, and adding a little bit of fat to it, like olive oil or something. So initially they did start putting some extra fat into the milk just because the baby really needed to get some weight put on him. But they don't do that anymore because it's not necessary because he is really filled out. He's not fat, but he definitely has filled out and he's a very, very healthy baby. So at the time that I'm shooting this video, he's just a few days short of being three months old. You're gonna see this three weeks out. So the pictures I'm gonna show you are of the most recent ones I have. And you can see he's got little creases in his legs. He is definitely healthy. He's definitely filled out. And so he's been thriving on the goat milk. And this is just the powdered Mayenberg goat milk. Now I did try going with the, um, Hoosier Hill Farms. I tried one canister of that, bought that form just because it was a little bit cheaper just to see how you do on that. Well, that one wasn't as rich. And I did notice in the comments, in the reviews about it, it wasn't as rich. And he tended to spit up more on it, she said. So she just went back to the Mayenberg and he's doing great. So initially also, I did have her adding some organic uh multivitamins for babies just to get them just to really give them a boost to get going but um they're not even doing that anymore they're just doing the goat milk and he's doing great i mean she still nurses him as she's able because she still has some milk coming in it's just not enough and i wanted to bring this up because 
you know, first of all, we've got, we had the, the formula shortage and people were all freaking out about that and scared and wondering how they're going to feed their baby when they couldn't get formula. And now we've got that just, uh, it wasn't, they've known about this for since 2019, but even a lot of your so-called organic formulas are loaded with carcinogens, lead and some other things. And they knew about it from since 2019, but didn't even release the information until 2021. And I didn't even hear about it until yesterday. It just so happens, I'm glad I put this video off just a little bit longer. I was going to shoot this video sooner, but I was just trying to get around to it. And I'm glad I waited because then that came out. And I also wanted to say one more thing is that that doctor just kept pushing my daughter-in-law about a uh, human formula. And she went, went so far as to actually order some formula up for her. Now, at least she picked the organic formula, but which, and it was made from cow's milk, thankfully, and not soy milk, but it was fortified with iron as is most formulas. And not all babies should have iron, and especially babies in our family because we thalassemia is a standard blood trait because of our Mediterranean descent. And so putting giving iron to a baby can make them very sick. But what bothered me the most was the doctor took it upon herself to order up this formula and then bring it over to their house. Even though it was unasked for, they didn't want it, they were happy with the goat milk. The Burt's Bees brand was not in that list. I still would avoid it. And there were several other organic brands that were in this list of contaminated products. And that's not even including the, the big other contamination that was coming, that was talked about a month or two ago. There was that too, and that was other brands yet. So in my personal opinion, I think all store-bought formulas, I don't care what they're claiming, should be avoided entirely. If anyone is unable to nurse their child or know someone who cannot, recommend the goat milk. Another standard way was doctors would have women use evaporated milk that's been canned. Because of the process, it breaks down the proteins and such that babies cannot digest in cow's milk, and that's why that's good. What I would not suggest, though, is putting corn syrup in it. Don't put corn syrup. If you feel like they need a little bit of fat, add some healthy fat to it. It can be a good organic coconut oil or whatever it is that you have. It doesn't have to be olive oil. I think olive oil would make it taste weird myself, but you know, it's like, <laughs> they're going to eat it. You know, If they're hungry, they're going to eat it. But, and I don't think you need to add any sweeteners. I just don't think that's important to add any kind of sugars to it. They're going to get plenty of carbohydrates. But, and, and then another one people mentioned was like the Azure Standard has the organic A2A2 cow milk. And the thing about that is it is supposed to be easier for people who have uh, problems digesting milk. It's, it's, that's supposed to be a good choice for them. And apparently that one is also supposed to be good for babies but i haven't tried giving them that because he's just doing so good on the goat milk that i i just kind of think keep using what works because <laughs> he's doing good on it he's happy he's healthy he's been putting on weight and so anyway i wanted to share that testimony with people and get the information out there Generally speaking, we need to take what most of the people say in the medical industry with a grain of salt and always research everything. Because if you're researching, you're finding medical base pages that are saying, oh, don't do this, don't do this. But you're reading things in real life, such as like if you go to Amazon, you read about the Mayenberg milk and the Hoosier Hill goat milk and read the reviews. So you'll find a lot of people are using this for as a formula replacement and their babies are doing really good on it. You know, then you'll get that one person will come and say, well, I don't recommend using it for babies. Well, people have been doing it for centuries at least. And I also don't think, even though there are recipes out there where you can take the powdered goat milk and add this, that, and the other thing, I personally don't think all that is necessary. Uh, my grandson is just doing the goat milk with no additives in it right now. Initially at first, yes, just to help him start putting on weight. But now just the goat milk and he's still just packing the weight on and doing great. So don't feel that you've got to practice the modern day things to fill in. If you cannot nurse your child or your, your, dot, or your daughters can't nurse their children because of whatever happens, whatever it is that came up that made it so they're not producing the milk or whatever. I mean, you know, we got to not be judgmental. We just got to look at ways to help people. And also one more thing I always tend to forget is that there are a lot of people, women that just 
put out a lot of milk and so they always pump extra and they will donate it to uh, banks that hold this hold the breast milk and give it to people who cannot nurse their own children so there's also that if you have something like that in your area it's definitely that's going to be the actually the best option to look into uh, before the goat milk but if you don't have that available then yes I definitely recommend the goat milk and then even look into possibly the A2 A2 and as far as any additives just what you think is best for your child or your grandchild or whoever it is uh, just look into it and just definitely not corn syrup though I mean that, they used to do that but especially nowadays I mean corn syrup is just not good for them but nowadays it's all genetically modified anyway so no corn syrup. Goat milk is actually, it's not cheap and it's gone up in price, but it, that is an option. And then also look into the canned uh, evaporated milk. And again, that's something that, you know, you can decide whether or not you want to add anything to it or not. It does need to be watered down because it is, it has been condensed. That's the thing. It's a lot of, it's evaporated. A lot of the water's been evaporated out and they don't, the babies don't need it quite that rich, but all the pro but the things that need to be broken down are broken down in that so and and what i read was not just making your own evaporated milk but the canning process too is what helps break that down so just just so you understand that and i don't know if they make an organic evaporated milk there must be one out there i just don't know because i i never buy it so something to look into and if you have any other suggestions ideas recipes or whatever you'd like to share with some people that could use this information please put that in comments down below so we can you know help everybody out in this way and also try to help people save a little bit of money on expensive formula that's turning out to not be good at all no matter what brand they get all right well thanks for watching take care and god bless